Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. Although there's supposed to be many cats and dogs interested in watching this video. Welcome to another one of my CB600F Hornet videos. This one is a 2007 with 22, yes that's just 22,000 miles on the clock. One owner from New. Uh, I'm going to go around it as I normally do, trying to point out any imperfections. I can't and I haven't really found any, but I'm still going to go around it anyway. Uh, purpose of these videos, in case you've never seen one before, is to do what you should be doing, and that's getting up close and personal, looking for any signs of damage, slide or otherwise. Uh, but the difference is you can do it from the comfort of your armchair, dinking your custard creams into your tea. Um, as per normal, the tire measurements will be at the end of the video, so no more ado, let's get going. First thing I ever do is, no matter what the mileage is, I check the discs for any signs of lipping caused by previous abuse owners running these pads down to the metal, which would lip the discs, uh, but they are as new. Fork seals, uh, part of my PDI check, nothing wrong with those. Now really it's getting on, looking for where slide damage would be, were there to be any. Front guard, apart from giving it a polish, there ain't a mark on it. Likewise with a headlamp, no cracks or kinks missing out of it. Leading edges, right, headlamp rim. Nout. It has this little um, tinted um, nose screen on it. No scuffs or marks on that. Front right indicator. Likewise, not a mark. Front brake lever. Ditto. Uh, the right hand bar end weight. Ditto, ditto. And same with the leading edge on the right mirror. Um, it's got this these sizzling grips on it with the heater control there. Uh, they warm up, keep your fingers nice and toasty in the winter. Um, get back down around this side again. Radiator, all good. It protrudes slightly, so if these hornets go over, they'll take a clump. Not a mark on that. Headers, as you can see, no rust, not in a terrible condition. Um, okay, uh, right hand um, crank cap. No signs of any damage, and same with the clutch cover. Uh, thermostat housing, again, this protrudes. They would uh, take knocks and bangs and scuffs if they went for a slide. Rear brake lever. Uh, driver's right-hand peg. Pillion right-hand peg. And the silencer. Not a mark. Coming back up here, right hand side of the tank, all good, with the exception of if I look, and I can't find, ah, just here, very difficult to point out, I don't know if you can see, there's a very, 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 and I mean very, slight indentation, I won't even call it a dent, I don't know if you can even see it on the video, um, seat, all good, no rips, no tears, it has this kappa, um, uh, what do you, would you call it, quick release top box thing on it, it's got the, um, the rack to support it, and it has a key up there in the ignition, which opens it up on the inside now, you may just squeeze, I don't know, Major squeeze two full face crash helmets in there. Certainly one on a load of sandwiches. Um, it's a 42 litre box. Uh, no signs of a little bit of the. I think this guy's put it. Yeah, this is an aftermarket thing. Uh, reflective strip. It's got a little piece missing out of there. But the box itself, again, no signs of any slide damage. It does close down. They do faff around with these things. But, yep, there you go. Closes fine left hand side of it you can see again no signs of any damage left hand seat panel 
no signs of any slide damage. Uh, here's the Scott Oiler. It's an aftermarket thing. Keeps the chain nice and um, lubricated. Uh, left hand pillion peg, driver's peg and gear lever. No signs of any slide damage. If they go over, that lot would take it. Left hand side of the rear seat and the driver's seat. Left hand side of the petrol tank. Not a mark on that. The alternator cover, likewise. Left hand side of the radiator, likewise. Uh, nothing to report on this side. I've already done the check on the discs. Left hand front indicator, clutch lever, far end weight, and leading edge of the left hand mirror. Oh, and no screen and headlamp rim. So, no marks at all. Turn it on. Oh, it's stone cold. You can see my hand go on the headers there. So, it's stone cold. And when it's stone cold, it does, and they should start as easy as that. I'll turn the choke down. There you go, it's ticking over on a thousand and I'll dial that, I do dial that into about 12.50 when they're warmed up. Um, so that's pretty much it, apart from coming around here so you can have a listen to the engine. There's no ticks, bangs or rattles there. Doesn't leak oil, doesn't leak water, doesn't smoke. Only one thing, 2,000 miles. Revs cleanly. So, there we are. I'll turn it off and shut up. Take a few steps back and as per normal, um, say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed your rich teas, custard creams, popcorn, whatever it was you chose. And thanks for watching.